I want to share with you a great source of fish food and a surprise little guy, if he's still there. <laughs> it kind of gave me a shock this morning when I was looking for this new source of food. It's, it's been raining all day and the, the pond is nice and filled. The trout are enjoying the shallows when it fills up. They're like up there playing up of the water. See that? The water is really clean. The filter's been doing its job. And um, you can see the trout playing around, chasing each other. Well, that's, I don't know if that's mating or what is that. There should be six in here, but I'm only counting three right now. Oh, there's another one down there. That's four. So what's the food I'm feeding them? Well, when it's rainy like this, you're gonna get a lot of little pesty guys who are gonna start eating your leaves and stuff. And these guys are slugs. Now, they also like to live under, under rocks. And they're right there. That is a toad. He's in a hole. I oh, do see him right there. What's up, buddy? I already petted him once. He's just sitting here. Hey, buddy. Hey. There's a pet. Little toad right there. Look at that guy. He's in a hole. A mole hole. And under here, you can find slugs. I'm gonna, here you go, here's one right here. Okay, so what do you do with these guys? All right, I'm gonna show you what you do with these guys. I don't know if you ever eat escargot, or if you know how to, how to prepare escargot, and this is what gave me the idea. Slugs are pretty much escargot without the shell, right? So what do they do to pre prepare escargot? They put it in flour. So get yourself a bag of flour, and then collect the slugs, and just stick them in here. And I'm going to show you how easy they are to handle that. All right, so let's go get the slug. What you can do is just dip your fingers in with the... So you have a little bit of flour. And just pick it up, drop it in. It's going to happen. The slime is going to stick with the flour. The other cool thing is, is handling them. Once they're, once they're here, they're like these little balls of flour. So, come over here to the pond. I've been feeding them, them. Find one. Big fat juicy one here. Right? Throw it in there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Easy. So, basically you can store them in this bag. And you can give out like five at a time or whatever. Um, maybe ten. There it is right there. Easy to handle. You're not getting slime on your fingers. Throw them in there. Look at them, they love them. When you're done with the bag, press out all the air, roll it up, okay, into, you know, roll it up like this, pressing out all the air, seal it up, and there's your little bag of fish food. Store it in there, good place. So now you've got a source of an amazing food the fish that you're growing from the little nasty pesky little pests that are eating away at your food. Get up every morning, do the rounds, and if you do that every morning you're going to control it to give your fish an amazing food that's going to fatten them up that ultimately is going to end up on your dinner plate. My name is Mike Trout. I do what's known as Found Ups Permaculture, which is a slightly different variation of permaculture which deals with what I call sprints over time tackling projects as independent little initiatives that ultimately create a total design. This pond was never in my design initially and ultimately when it became ready for it, it became part of it, if that makes any sense. So the first thing I tackled was the soil, which means getting in 
nitrogen fixtures. The second thing started getting in trees, getting out of the herbs and so on. Then all of a sudden I realized I had um, a need for worms to create earth, so I had worm farms. Worm farms led to a chicken coop, chicken coop, and also the fish farm that kind of came together. Actually the fish came first because I wanted basically high quality water that I could water uh, the plants or have access and also capture the rainwater that's coming off the roof into the pond. Next I'm actually going to build a gazebo which is going to go over this that's going to provide shade. It's also going to provide a place for my Fuji to grow up and maybe grape. I'm going to grow grapes up there and ultimately it's going to provide cover and protection for my precious little guys here. I started off with six trout. I'm not sure if a couple crows have ran off with a couple. Um, I've got a feeder in there that I'm still I'm testing right there. That's a feeder. That's going to uh, army flies, hopefully. Soldier flies. I call them army flies. Soldier flies. Black soldier flies. Hopefully going to live there. They're going to go up that little chute and drop in there. But in the meantime, I need food. And I notice this time of year I get lots of slugs. What to do with them. Oh, another thing you can do, and I've tested this and this works, is set up little slug traps. So this is a slug trap. Basically what it is, I just set it up this morning. It's a little bit of uh, honey down water, just a little like my empty honey jar. Rinse it out with some warm water. And this sweet stuff is gonna attract them. Now I've already picked up, here's a little slug right here. Put them in there. Um, this is gonna attract the little slugs I see around here into them. I've done this before and I know it works. So I have a couple jars around the place. One there. One down here. I think I have another one down down here somewhere. I did have one under there. Yeah, actually I'm gonna move this one over here under give it a little bit more shelter and near the stalk so that the, the sweet aroma is gonna attract the slugs into it. And I've already picked off the slugs off my beans. And these are nitrogen fixtures and also food, and you can see the beans that are starting to come out here. Look at these beautiful beans. And this is putting in nitrogen for this citrus tree and also for this um, blueberry bush that I have growing here and so on. Roundups is a selfless business model that I created and it's all about living sustainably, inviting others to participate in Foundups. Some Foundups will become businesses. This is a food truck in the work, a solar truck. It's got IH uh, pads and stuff in it that's gonna be used to cook eggs and the fish potentially that's going to be sold. Create your own restaurant, your mobile micro restaurant right out of a little K truck. That's my vision, a found ups food truck, a green truck, found ups green trucks. And I want potentially other people to launch their own. And simply by joining found ups, you get access to the brand, you get access to licensing, to using found ups. We only ask this, is that 80% of the net profits go back into supporting, launching, and creating new found ups, um, the feeder, anything, a found up, anything that helps our planet um, in a selfless way is a found up. A startup is a very selfish business model for a few to benefit from. A found up is a business model for everyone to benefit. And their ideas launched and created locally, funded globally. And you can support found up simply by going to our Patreon page or foundups.com and clicking on the link. So I spend my time working on foundups. Creating today, I created a new source of food uh, method that I'm sharing with you today for feeding your your fish. And you know, my idea is is my vision is that others will launch foundups all over the planet, and together, maybe we can save it.